this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was. Then you come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. More about hearing the gospel or really understanding the gospel for the first time. I'm guessing you had probably heard it before you actually became a Christian. What was different about that when you actually started following Christ? What I heard was pretty well hammered. Uh, you have to hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized. That's what I heard. Unfortunately for me, at 28, when the guy said, you know what the gospel is? And I said, uh, the, maybe the Chuck wagon gang on, you know, the gospel music on the radio. Yeah. He said, you don't even know what it is. Mm. I said, see, my problem is I was taught to, I have to hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized. I said, my question to you is Mr. Preacher, hear what? Mm. And he said, the gospel. And I said, gospel music on the radio. Yeah. So he writes it out. And I just noticed this here. I didn't know we were going to do this. He wrote this on a piece of paper. By the way, when I first met Donald Trump, I did the same he thing. I wrote this on a piece of paper. And I, and I said, whatever happens... He was running for office at this time. Saw him a couple of times after that, but while he was running for office, I said, whatever happens, Trump, don't miss this. There's an arrow, God becoming flesh. I said, we can count. You show the, can yeah, you show the, the camera. camera? I said, we count time by that. I said, there's a cross after that, Trump. I said, there's a cross. Jesus died on the cross. I, see, I said, for the sins of the world, I said, you do have sins, don't you, Trump? What did he say? And he said, a lot of them. I said, me too. I wow, said, that's pretty amazing, actually, that he said that. I thought it was. So I thought, well, so I told him, I said, I have a lot too. I said, they put him in a tomb. I said, Trump, whatever happens, I said, we're the same age. We're wow. identical age. I said, we don't have that long. We're in our 70s. I said, Trump, we're going to die. And you're going to go six feet under, and so am I. Right? He said, no doubt about it. I said, he was resurrected from the dead. I said, you can live beyond the grave. I said, it's the greatest thing that ever happened for the human race. Remove all your sin and raise you from the dead. I said, see that final error? I said, that's the return. All we're waiting on is the return. I said... I hope you win the presidency. I'm going to vote for you. I said, but in the meantime, you need to think seriously about that and give your life to Jesus because it's bigger than the presidency. I said, you can have immortality. And I started, I said, have a nice day. And I took a step back and he said, hey, he said, can I have that? I said, wow. And I gave it to him. That's amazing. And I walked out the door. I saw him a couple of times after that. I said, have they baptized you yet? He said, no, I need to do that. I said, if you don't do it, I said, I'll, I'll come up there and baptize you if you can't find anybody up there in the White House that'll baptize you. I said, Jesus said, you know, go make disciples, baptize them. So I said, hey, I'm just following, carrying out instructions here. But that's whether he did or not, I don't know. 